they've been like this from the day it was built. Yep. All original. What's going on YouTube? Landed up near back with another race day vlog. It is a beautiful day here at Wake County Speedway. We've got 60 laps of late model action tonight. We've got our driven sunglasses, Central Carolina scale, number 75 ready to rock and roll. So uh, I really like this place, fresh off of a ninth place finish in the car store. And uh, we brought this car here. We've got our limited car. We brought it here in 2023 at the end of the year and finished third. So we've got a good shot tonight. Some good race cars. I think 12 or 13 cars here total. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take you guys with us every step of the way and uh, try to bring us home a uh, bronze bull trophy tonight. Oh, good. Hello. Here's our fresh tires. Hey, good. That's what we need. What kind of socks we got on? I brought some turtle socks today. I was on vacation last week, so I was at the beach and wish I was still there, but I wore my turtle socks. Can't believe you don't want to be at the racetrack. Oh, I like being at the racetrack, but I feel like to be at the beach. Can't believe you said that. Uh, okay. All right. I think we got a pretty good car. Hello, RJ. How's it going? How are we doing? It's a nice day out. Yeah, it is. So here at Wake, you get two stickers and two scuffs. And the stickers are, for two tires, $325. That is considerably less than anywhere. Hey, Flynn. How are we doing? Just a matter of time. I think this place is great. Yeah. And, uh, it's great. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, Driven Sunglasses and Central Carolina Scale helped us out this weekend. This is actually one of the aviator style sunglasses from uh, Driven. I'll leave a, a link in the comments. You can uh, use that to check out their line of sunglasses, grab you one uh, affordable and uh, solid line for, for us racers. You can use Driven 20, get 20% off of that as well. It'll help us out and help them out too. Our out. At Hickory last week, they could have. I'll Hickory. Ended up fifth in practice. It's like a really fast paced practice deal. Uh, we're pretty much just waiting on qualifying, single car qualifying. So I think there's 12 cars. I think we're okay. One of the only crate motors, I believe. So we'll see what happens here. And I uh, feel like we got a pretty solid driven sunglasses, uh, Central Carolina scale. Chevrolet, we'll just see how we qualify and see how we race. Legends are qualifying right now, but qualified outside pole. Had the pole until the last car, the last lap, and uh, he ended up beating us. So we'll be starting second. He, uh, the guy who got the pole, Hayslip, he qualified outside pole in the car store here a couple weeks ago, and we just brought a 1991 KLV center section with a 604 crate down here and almost uh, set her on the knob. So we'll see what happens. I got faith in the old girl. Try to uh, find the victory lane here at uh, the end of 60 and uh, get us a trophy. Another badass crowd here at uh, America's Favorite Boring. They always show up. Every week we show up. Packed house, pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a hand. That's a
we were racing the next day, so I don't have any spotter audio or GoPro here. So I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through what's going on. But we're coming to the green here, 60 laps. The outside's usually pretty tough here at Wake, but we got a really good run on the 08. And uh, we're actually going to put the old girl out in the wind right here and take the lead. And uh, she was driving pretty solid here to, to begin with. So we, we get down in front of the 08 and just try to make some laps here. Like I had mentioned, we took our crate motor, which we do get a weight break, so I like the idea of taking it down there. That's what I took last year, but as you can see, the 08 is killing me down the straightaway. He's got an enforcer in. So we're going to race him pretty hard here and uh, just try to maintain our spot. But I'm also turning my crate motor a little more than I typically would, and I think that's going to come back to bite me here. So 08 gets under us, and we're going to drop a few spots, and then I'm going to talk about what's going on. We actually settle in not too bad, and the 15 car, Blue 15 of Clay Jones, he's won a lot of races here as well as the 08 throughout the 2024 season. So he's going to be putting the pressure on the 50, and Clay's car usually comes to life after a few laps, and you're going to see him start to motor to the front here, and we're going to have to deal with him here shortly. But I'm also not so sure I didn't have this thing gear bound, because you can see me kind of gap him on initial throttle, which we had really good drive, but then down the straightaway, they are just killing me. Uh, so I, I do think that I'm probably turning the motor a little too much. Working lap 16 here, plays run us down, but you can see we kind of gapped on the cars behind us, so, you know, the cars are starting to separate and we're starting to get some space. Plays obviously better. He's going to work under us right here, and then we're going to have to kind of fight to get back in line, but I kind of feel like the motor at this point, I don't know if it's going sour, but, you know, it's not pulling, I don't know, something's just not right right now, and uh, I'll kind of add some light to that here in a minute. Fifteen clears us, and then I want you to watch here. The fifty car just absolutely shifts us getting into one, which I did a hell of a job saving it. I felt like, but pretty uncalled for. I felt like if we have just waited, you know, a lap, we probably would have got by us. But that's all right. You know, no, no harm, no foul. We saved it, and uh, we kind of lose a couple more spots here and fall in behind the fifty. But this is where it gets interesting for us. You can see right there, the motor is severely hurt. Uh, right about now, we actually broke a rocker arm and then a push rod and then knock two more rock arms off the motor so we start falling like a rock i pull in because obviously we have motor problems you can see just how bad they're beating me right there and uh just unfortunate probably some of my doing turning the motor too much but just uh just sucks Took the lead on the start, led some laps, and uh, ended up getting shuffled there a little bit. Fell back second or third, got punted by the 50 pretty bad. I have to go back and watch the replay uh, when I make the video, but I felt like he just drove down in there and piled drove us. Saved that, and then I could tell the motor wasn't right, and she broke her rocker arm. I ran it for another 15 laps because we were still running fifth, and I think it broke two more. So 
uh, we just pulled the valve covers off and it broke three of them. So that was kind of the issue, I guess, for turning the, the crate motor a little too much, trying to keep up with the enforcers. But led some laps, first time leading here at Wake, and uh, I think the motor's not hurt too bad. So get her dialed back up and be at Tri-County tomorrow. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. We're on our way to 30K. And thank you to Driven Sunglasses and Central Carolina Scale for the support uh, this week at Wake County.